1995 and historic inauguration in Maryland. I, Wesley Watende Omari Moore. I, Wesley Watende Omari Moore. Wes Moore is now the first black governor in the state's history. That I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. He's ushering in a new government that is already breaking barriers. Congratulations, Governor. Woo! Hello, Maryland! Love that moment. Oprah ringing in an historic day in Maryland. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. Take a look at these photos with us now. They capture the moment Governor Moore and his family stepped into the governor's mansion, their home for the next four years. Yeah, thousands of people turned out today in front of the state house in Annapolis. They all wanted to see history being made. Yeah, you know when history's made, you know this team is going to be all over it. Our Scott Broom is live in Annapolis talking to people in the crowd. We'll get to you in just a few minutes, Scott. Yeah, but first, Delia Gonsalves joins us now to break down Wes Moore's day. It was an incredible day and the weather cooperated. That's the good news. The crowd outside the state capitol in Annapolis was euphoric, excited, and diverse. They were there to witness history. The swearing in of the first Indian American Aruna Miller as Maryland's Lieutenant Governor, Wes Moore, the state's first African American Governor. I, Aruna Katragata Miller. I, Aruna Katragata Miller. This historic moment could not be ignored. Aruna Miller, the first Indian American to be sworn in. Thank you for your trust and confidence in me to be your 10th Lieutenant Governor. The first African American. I, Wesley Watende Omari Moore. To place his left hand on the well-worn Bible that belonged to Frederick Douglass and be sworn in as Maryland's 63rd Governor. Congratulations, Governor Moore. Diversity and inclusion was more than a catchphrase at this swearing in ceremony. America, America. It was palpable from participation from family. I pledge allegiance to the flag. My mom doesn't only welcome opportunities, she welcomes challenges. Our fortunes are tied together in ensuring that we create a state that we grow equitably and a recitation of a familiar pledge made throughout the campaign, leave no one behind. That it is time for our policies to be as bold as our aspirations. We do not have to choose between a competitive economy and an equitable one. We should not tolerate an eight to one racial wealth gap, not because it only hurts certain groups, but because it prevents all of us from reaching our full potential. Maryland, it's time. Let's lead and let's do it together. God bless you all and thank you so much. There was actually another Bible that was significant to Governor Moore swearing in today. His son James and his daughter Mia were holding Moore's grandfather's Bible as their dad took mm. the oath of office. And I have a question. If your dad is inaugurated as governor, uh -huh. do you go to school the next day? I think you do. <laughs> well, I do. You have but to. You, <laughs> but you stand up a little taller a and, little maybe, and maybe you're feeling a lot more pride too when you go to school the next Absolutely. day. Absolutely. You know, when, uh, when Larry Miller interviewed Wes Moore before yeah. he became governor, Wes Moore said, I want you to look at the crowd. That's, That's right. the story of the inauguration. Right. Right. And the crowd was diverse, young, old, black, white. It was just the epitome of what his administration will be moving yeah. forward. Yeah, the crowd was diverse, but also this infusion of family. Mm. This felt different mm -hmm. than a lot of inaugurations that, that we've all covered and witnessed. Yeah. And I think a lot of that is due to the fact that both Governor Moore mm -hmm. and Lieutenant Governor Miller incorporated their families in significant their, ways. Their children certainly yeah. stole yeah. the show. You could tell they were so proud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they should be. Thank all you, right. Dee. Thanks, Dee.